Hello everyone, and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Last time we were still playing a saga and we were just finishing our way through the forest and driving Alan uh, back to the field office in Bright Falls, our makeshift field office. Um, and we were trying to get out of Alan what, what, where he's been the last 13 years. And he's just been recounting his memories, I guess. Uh, he just, he said he couldn't remember and then all of a sudden he did. And we were on some kind of a talk show. Um, what was it? Late night with Mr. Door. No, in between with Mr. Door. So uh, from then on, we got chased through the studio by something. And we woke up. Apparently, Alan was having a nightmare. And now we are in his study, I guess, where he, where he types. So picking up right where we left off last episode. I had been writing. Initiation. You must write to escape. So he was writing Initiation. He was writing the book. I guess in the nightmare he couldn't remember. Initiation Draft 1. A plot board for mapping out a story. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far, but other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. All right, can I see it? So I can't zoom in. Oh, okay. Waking up to a nightmare. At the talk show, I thought I was home in New York, but none of it had felt right. I was trapped in the dark place, a nightmare beyond our world. The writer's room was my safe haven. My writing affected what was outside. I was trying to write a story to escape this place. The story was called Initiation. With the story I wrote... I had to write more. With the story I wrote, I projected myself out to look for a way to escape. I had tried many times, failed. This place made me forget. Everything Dor had said felt true. Was some part of my was that part of my writing or coming from somewhere else? Dark place, trapped, you must write to escape. Okay. Read me, beware scratch, and Alice. Oh, there's music. Never mind. I had to keep writing. I can't leave, apparently. And I can't run here, either. Okay, so... So initiation yet yeah, is this game. So he was dreaming about having written the book, but he hasn't written it yet. could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. Alex Casey himself is here tonight. That's right. Family, ladies and gentlemen. 
the actor who has given his face to the famous detective in the film series. And of course, we have Alan Wake here, the best-selling writer of the books, the films, are based on. Let's do this! So that puts me there, but... Oh. I thought we could actually leave this time. Okay, nothing else, right? Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Welcome back to the show. So, Alan. Hey, as Mr. Lake. The, uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I, I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? Uh, <laughs> he looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories and these adaptations. I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. One, sorry, one quick interjection. Uh, if you're wondering why the audio sounds weird, like it looks like the guy's not even really talking, it's because he's not. Um, his voice has been ADR'd. Uh, the, um, what's his name? Jason Peretta does the voice of Alan Wake. The guy who played Casper Darling in Control does the actual voice. Um, this is just, like, they had this guy obviously either mouth or say the lines in real life, and Jason Beretta had to, you know, say the lines based on his lip movement. So that's why it looks kind of weird. So don't worry about that. We have a clip from the new film Murder Case Case. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel. The only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. That's great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? That's not where he was sitting. Oh, you're making me do this again. Now I gotta check everything again. I don't think they would have added anything. So, a lamp in the shape of an angel, is that what he said? Five, six, five. can actually zoom in. That's funny. 
Okay, nothing here. So this one is five, six, five. Nothing on the TV this time. See what happens if I go this way. Oh, nothing. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, maybe we could try closing the door this time. Oh, I thought that was something. Is that Otzi? Okay, so we open the shortcut. I bet you it's Otzi. Access by returning to the writer's room. Okay. Oh, that's cool. So, just like with Saga, we can actually go back and forth here. make a big circle. So we're back in my room. Okay, before I move ahead, there's actually something new written here. So looking for a way out. The dark presence was out there, hunting me. When it caught me, it killed me. I wake up here. I refuse to give up. I'd start again. The talk show felt real and not real. Alex Casey was my creation, but now it seemed like he had a life of his own. He mentioned a lamp shaped like an angel. Alice Dark Presence. Uh, where's the one about Scratch? It's gone, it looks like. Wait, what's the new one there? Oh, it's the map. Doi. Hadoi. Okay, so some seems like something's gonna happen when I enter here. Oh. Maybe not. Okay, but did I miss something? Where's Ati? Cause I heard him. Oh, in there. Ah, Lord Aid, there you are, Tom. Oh, not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you, man. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? Not <laughs> the hell of it is. Of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. 
Te mor kuks, te vörs, te súp. I'm sorry, have we met? Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. What do you want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got up go a man's a man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox, in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. I'm guessing it's going to be a flashlight. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mulls about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. I love Ahati so much. He's such a character. I love him. Alright. Let's see what's down here. Couldn't be worse than what's up here. Surely. Maybe. Perhaps. Possibly. Oh lord. New map? No? Alright. Something about a shoebox, didn't you? Nazaranos? What is that? Is? Nazarenos. Okay, I don't know what you want me to do about that. No charges? Okay, I don't know what that means. An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? And donuts. What does that book say? Oh, the third eye. That looks like a. Okay, I, I, I was about to say it looks like a wand, but no, it's like a person, like a woman holding a light. Okay. Let's look around first. Nothing. Okay, let's do this. Pick it up. Excuse me. Pardon me. The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. Oh, that's the angel, I guess. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Use the angel lamp to move lights and create a way forward. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. Like something in a dream. 
opening a way forward. The lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. That's pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. So that's what it meant by charges. I felt another surge from the lamp. I could use it again. The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. So I'm gonna guess they're gonna look different when I open the door. Oh, never mind. Okay, so let's get the light back. Yeah, looks different now. That's actually a really cool mechanic. What's the point? Might as well just hold on to it. Well, maybe it changes something here. Oh my god, there's so many... Okay. Sorry, guys. Um, where am I? Oh, I'm there. So that leads to the exit. Oh, wait. Where did this lead? First floor shortcut. I needed to find another way out. So I'm going to guess... I have to put the light here. In order to do something different here. I mean, maybe not. Fuck! Okay, guess I can slam through doors now. Good thing all doors open both ways. Open a door that's not a door. At the bottom of an ocean that's not an ocean. And a lake. 
That's not a leg. End of part. Find a way out of the talk show studio. Okay. Yeah, let's do a manual save. Haven't saved in a while. Uh. Okay. Oh, shoebox. Shoebox can store your items. Alan can store it. Can access stored items from any shoebox in the dark place. Oh, that's cool. Um, I mean, it's good and bad. It's bad because now <laughs> means we're going to be facing combat. Let's see what was there. Let's see what was over here. So this was clearly the way out. Oh, wow. The payphone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Look at this fucking place. with Mr. Door. I guess it won't the let me get past. The story determined where I could go and where I couldn't. What the fuck? I'm I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. Hard case. Casey. That's that's actually pretty ingenious with the Y. Because it's hard case Casey, right? Hard boiled and hung over. Now it's Casey film based on the novels by Alan Wake. You know what's funny? Like I mentioned I'll grab the phone in a minute. I've mentioned in the past that like Sam Lake uses um, uses face to be um, Max Payne in the first game. And Max Payne is obviously Alex Casey, like that's what it's meant to be. Um, but uh, they use a different face in uh, Max Payne 2 and 3. And that's the face I picture with Max Payne. I don't picture Sam Lake as Max Payne. Scratch. Alright, we'll take a good look around after we answer this goddamn phone. Hello? Hello, Wake? Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. Fuck. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Alan, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station, the subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got you now. We've been working. Great. I I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? Convenient.
AC initiation two. I hear baddies. The man had said Caldera Street Station. I had to go there. Is that a man? Fuck. Okay, don't mind me, just passing through. Shadows stirred like there was someone there, but there was no one. I wanted to keep it that way. Man, this place, I so wanted, like, look around. You die here. there. Ocean Avenue. We're never out of your way. So is that, if that's Ocean Avenue, what's this? We don't know. There's no closing the door on past sins. Close case, Casey. Night Springs, new season coming soon. Don't write. Scratch. Something there. Let's see where we're actually supposed to go. Caldera Street is actually straight ahead. Ocean and Wheeler. Alley, Draft Street, Port Street. Um, I'm going to head to that alley first. See if there's anything there. This is so unsettling. It's a cold day in hell. Return scratch. Men, like, again, I don't get scared. Is this the way it was on the page? What the hell? Oh, hey. We met at Door's show. Alan Wake, the writer. I'm Alex Casey. I'm looking into a murder. Come on, what? What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim? Stay here. No, wait! I need a gun! No chance. I'm gonna guess the darkness one. Damn it. It's 
something here. He was just waiting. I remember dying in this alley in a dream I had. He was just going to keep killing me here, loop by loop. You're not going to get what you want. You think you know. You know shit. You don't really want to know. You're going to get what's coming to you. I didn't even realize he was there. I like, I was... I gun and flashlight to protect yeah, yeah, myself. I know, I know, I know. I was just, like, looking around. I didn't even realize he was there. For years, picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. So, could this have been entirely missable? Because I just came here like on a whim. I don't think, yeah. I have a light now. I could use it to make my way deeper. Oh, I probably would have needed the light to get to the station. Cult of the Word. Says. What happens if I go here? Oh, I can't. Okay, so it's just putting me through a loop. Weirdly enough. Shit. With the alley in darkness now, unless the shadows block my way. Man, this is so fucking trivial. I. Fuck me, man. The shadows faded out. Until they didn't. They were trying to stop me. With the gun and flashlight, I could fight back. Destroy the darkness and only flashlight will reveal the way forward. Sorry, I haven't really been saying much. I'm just too um, mesmerized. I guess is the is the best word. Oh, no. 
Hey, you stay there. Darkness now? Restless shadows block my way. right across, literally straight, and then to the left. The Caldera Street station sign was there, but the entrance was missing. I had to make it clear. Maybe I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance. Yeah, just tell me where it is. Oh, right here. Is this it? Yeah. I needed to find another light to go deeper inside. You may not be the only you out there. Identity theft is on the rise. Please carry a portable light with you in the subway. Power outages do occur. Alright, thanks for the... Wow, even for like a New York subway, this is like... This is pretty fucking bad. Then again, the fuck do I know? Don't sleep street and again avenue. So don't sleep again. Scratch. So do I just grab the light on my way down? No, I can't. me out. Hmm. Oh, thank you. I will, uh, Certainly, so a quick slot down here, I guess. Oh, cool. I do not know what to do. Sliding this area. It's just these signs. 
Do I have to grab a light from somewhere else? Maybe there. Okay, let me take this light back. Try this. Leads up here. No, apparently not. Where am I going? Got so many options. Where is this lead? <laughs> Does the lead just lead me back down? Careful now. No one wake. I'm gonna go up there first. the echo by approaching it from a specific angle. What? I don't get it. The rain tried to wash away the sins of this city. <laughs> but some sins, the evidence of the crimes committed, could never be erased. Not by the rain. Or any amount of therapy from Dr. Jack Daniels. It remained bruises under my skin like tattoos. Bruises in my soul. Scar tissue on my heart. The rain never stopped falling. And I never stopped drinking. Go, go, go. No, no, go. What's going on? Okay, how many times are you going to open that? Ok, 
Okay. One. There we go. Okay. I think that'll do it for this episode. Um, I, I, I think I was saying earlier, I normally don't get scared. Um, and I'm not scared right now, but I'm actually really tense. Um, I got to walk this off. This is, again, it's not like a, a frightful tenseness. It's like, um, what's, what's the best way to describe it? Uh, like it, tense is in the sense, like you're walking, think of like you're walking downtown in the middle of the night and there's no one around, but I mean, I'm basically describing this. Basically, I'm I'm looking over my shoulder. I'm I'm tense about because I don't I'm not believing what I'm seeing. You know what I mean? That that's that's a tenseness. I I can't trust my eyes and I can't trust my ears. So it's like I'm waiting to be startled by something by one of the shadows. That's basically what's going on. Um, it's surprisingly effective. This is incredibly well done. Like the lights, the sound, the ambience is just fucking beautiful and i'm actually kicking myself that i've waited this long to play this game but as i said i wanted to kind of chronicle my uh my experience with this game i'm really loving it so far um but as i said i do have to kind of walk it off a little bit hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough so far uh i'm really looking forward to playing more Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.